Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, Tea Sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So today is Monday, August 31st. Can you believe it's the end of the month? I cannot believe how fast the month of August went. It is insane. Next month is going to be September, and Lord only knows, honey, what 2020 has in store. But anyways... On a better note, I have one of my conspiracy tea sippers with me. She's in my conspiracy DMs, and she decided to be my podcasting partner today. So I want you guys to welcome Rejoice. Rejoice, thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, everyone. My name is Rejoice. I'm from Florida, and right now it is terribly raining. (laughs) Okay, great. So I'm so happy you could be with us today here. So there's a lot of crazy topics that are trending right now on social media. So we all have the versus battle, Brandy versus Monica. That will be um, airing um, in about two hours. I cannot wait. This is like 90s nostalgia. Who are you currently going for? Who do you think will win? I'm going to have to go for my girl, Brandy. Uh, Me too, honey. How you doing? (laughs) That's who I'm going for as well. Monica has a lot of bangers. Don't get me wrong. But that Brandy catalog is no joke. And I heard her new album is really good too. I did too. I didn't get time to listen to it. Me either. But I hope she played some of it today. I agree. I haven't gotten a chance to sit down because I've been so busy, but I've heard nothing but good reviews about her new album, so I can't wait to check it out. So now, on to another note. I wanted to talk about this video that's going viral. We were talking about this in the DM, and basically this video is of two moms, and what they have basically done is that one of the moms has, I guess she's the parent of the little boy, the other mom is the parent of the little girl. And a lot of people on social media have been accusing them of doing the most with their children. You know, just basically being like, the way that they have their kids posed, the way they have their kids holding hands, acting like their boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, In one of the pictures, um, the young boy He's dressed like a, you know, like a grown man. He has on a little Tommy Hilfiger outfit, skinny jeans. And the picture is titled uh, Daddy. And they have a tongue emoji and a heart emoji. And these kids are literally like, I think, I want to say eight or nine years old. And so there's another picture um, where they're both dressed up in leopard print. And they say, because I'm a fashion killer and he's a trendy nigga. Mind you, these are little kids. Like, the little girl has on, like, a weave ponytail, a a tight-fitting dress. I mean, I see pictures like this all the time on Instagram, and it's just too much. And at this point, it looks like a lot of these parents are living vicariously through their kids. And so a lot of people were calling out the mother and saying, you know, what you're doing, you're pushing sexuality onto your children. This is too much. So they decided to respond, and this is what they had to say to the so-called critics on social media. Y'all can go ahead and listen to this real quick. I'm gonna explain. They've been saying right, right. they've been saying the same thing every two weeks. Maybe instead of hold up, like all y'all keep saying they probably grown, they probably this, they probably acting on Miss. Um, um, question: Are y'all being forced to take pictures? No. Do y'all do y'all enjoy First taking all, pictures? Do, y'all must have known the attitudes. They want to take a picture, they're not gonna take. Exactly, and that's a fact. Um, let me see. Um. What's another question? Y'all been abused or anything? Or well, I be knocking the hit blade head off his shoulder, so I'm gonna just say y'all that now. I'm about to throw homie ass down the fucking. But I mean, that's my child. That's my child. But I don't do it though. You know, I don't do it. Um, let me see. Um, what else? I'm about to to beat his ass right here, right now. Ain't nobody gonna do shit to me. Uh, let me see. What 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 y'all what else y'all got to say? Talk shit, and I ask him. So y'all want me talking shit? So why y'all change the captions? We change the captions to pay not y'all. All right, you guys heard that. After a while, I just sound like a bunch of mumbo jumbo and a bunch of excuses. <laughs> but what did you feel about that video watching that? I didn't like that video at all. Because when it comes to your kids, they're not going to tell you no because they don't want to make you upset. Right. And they're really young, and I don't understand this whole trend. Even like on my Instagram Explorer page, I don't understand. Like, there's so many children on my Explorer page. And I'm like, whose kids are these? They're dressed better than me. 
Versace, Dior, little dresses and high heel shoes. And the kids are like two and three. I'm like, who are y'all dressing your children up for? You know, we're the kids that used to wear Osh Gosh Bagash when I was growing up and, you know, playing around in overalls and Nike sneakers. I mean, these kids are so they're made to look like little adults. And I don't think people realize how many predators are out there and how many people are watching the things that you post, especially when it comes to small children. You could be inviting people into your home, into your space, you know, that don't mean you or your children, you know, any good. And they could come and come, you know, do some harm to your kids, do some harm to them because they become obsessed with them because you're parading your son and your daughter online like they're many adults. And it's really sickening. Yeah. And these pedophiles, they're just going to see in their mind, oh, well, they're grown. So it's OK if I if I like a few pigs, if I do stuff, you know. Right. Right. And it's just it's too much. Even earlier today in the group. Somebody posted a video that was posted onto Instagram. I don't know if you saw it. It was like this little girl. Yeah, she I couldn't have been any more than what? I think like three. She Totally flat chested little girl. You know, three year olds are flat chested. And they have her newborn sister like almost in her arm. And she's trying to feed her with her nipple. And the nipple, there's really no nipple to speak of, but she has the baby's head and she's trying to stuff the baby's head into her little chest and feed her. And the mom is sitting here laughing, thinking this is funny. And it's like, how do you record this and post this on social media? It just does not make any sense. Yeah, when I saw that, I didn't know why it was even up. Because I'm first thinking like, okay, how many pedophiles look at this just now? Because right. she's a toddler and she shouldn't be having her top off in a video. She should have a top on, have, you know, shorts or pants or whatever. She shouldn't be naked on video for the whole world to see. Right. Let alone trying to breastfeed her little sister. Which I just, the vibe on that video was just so disturbing. And, you know, more and more each day. We're seeing where police are raiding homes and they're finding, you know, missing and exploited children. You know, they I think they found like 40 in Georgia the other day. They found like another 26 in Phoenix or something like that recently. So it's like this is real stuff. You know, the human trafficking, the sex trafficking. So a lot of these parents, instead of them getting defensive and getting upset, they need to just stop. You know, if you're going to post pictures of your children, that is your business, but they need to make sense. Stop posting pictures of your children when you're trying to make them look older than what they are and when you're trying to fetishize them as if they're in a relationship with each other when that's clearly not the case. Yeah, and with the toddler trying to feed her um, sister, what I thought also when I looked at it is that she's being groomed to become a mother. Mm. I mean, yeah, and that that can be true. And I mean, the same can be said when you give a little girl a doll. Because, you know, when little girls have dolls, you're kind of, you know, preparing them for motherhood and teaching them how to take care of a baby and feed a baby with a baby bottle and change diapers and stuff. You know, but I, I just felt like not only grooming for her to be a mother, that was just something kind of just, it, that was really disturbing. Because it's like, you're definitely sexualizing that child and you're definitely, you know, putting her in a position where physically she's not even old enough to do any of that. So even if she is playing like that with her sister and acting like she's trying to breastfeed her, why record it and put it on social media? Yeah. And also I tried reporting that video on um, Instagram and Instagram was like, Oh, there's no problem with it. They didn't break any guidelines. Oh Yeah. And that's the thing that just is comical is that anytime we try to flag any of these videos or report them to Instagram, nothing happens. But let me post anything. I'm getting all types of notifications and bullying and harassment. Oh, you'll be banned next week. We're going to delete your Instagram. I mean, I get Instagram threats literally once a week and I don't post anything of the sorts. So that just lets you know who really runs Instagram. So another thing that's trending on social media right now is Toni Braxton. Toni Braxton is currently trending because she did an interview with The Guardian. And one of the questions that they asked her is, what is her biggest regret in life? And Toni Braxton's response has a lot of people divided. So basically what happened is this. Um, they interviewed her and this is what she had to say. 
She says, I regret not having more sex when I was younger. I should have drank more. I should have partied more, smoked more. I think my religious upbringing stopped me from doing a lot of those things that I should have done. It's not a good look at my age that I am now. The way it works is you do stuff in your 20s and 30s, then in your 40s, you've earned enough to pay for therapy. So that is her response to The Guardian. And so that's not, her response isn't sitting well with a lot of people. Even Little Duval had jokes about the situation. And um, Little Duval came onto the shade room and this is what he said. Little Duval says, no. You're looking at this wrong. You're 50 something now. This is the best time for you to be a hoe. Think about it. It's harder for you to get pregnant. The only disease you got to worry about catching is hepatitis from these old ass niggas. This is your prime. Moral of the story, live your best life, sugar, and just stick to these old niggas. Because those young boys going to run through you and fuck up your legacy. Love little Duvall at Tony Braxton. So that is what he had to say. This entire situation is crazy. How do you feel, especially being a younger female? How do you feel about what Tony Braxton had to say with Joyce? Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.